Oh man, what's going on, Fight Fan? That's right, you've read the title right. You have read the title right. You know, I'm looking through my social media. I'm going hey in the pushing match between him and Tony Bellew. And, and I was like, you know, we need something to spark interest. We need something to spark interest, man, in, in the Triple G versus Von S. Matrios and fight. And little and behold, did I see this thing from Von S. This guy said, I have extra motivation to beat Triple G's butt. And I'm like, well, I wonder what the motivation is. And then Vonis comes out and says, my wife told me that Triple G is her favorite fighter besides me. So now I'm motivated to kick his butt. So I'm thinking to myself, did she really say besides me? Did she really say that? Rico, lots of Don King made a slight interesting with his ability to talk in self fights like he did way back then. Yeah, man. Shout out to my man Rico. He always pops through on our chat. Uh, so now it got a kind of got me questioning did she throw that besides me fight? So my thing is is Vonna's wife really keeping it real with him? Is Triple G really her favorite fighter? But because she's married to Von S, she's got to say, well, besides you, honey, you know, nobody comes before you. You're number one. And which, I mean, she should. I mean, being that that's his wife and all that, you want your wife. Any man wants his wife to pick him over, you know, your opponent. Boy, but did she let it be known that Triple G is her favorite fighter? Or is Von is trying to sell the fight using that comment? I don't know, Rico. I think there's some truth to the matter. Hey, my wife, she likes Triple G too. The only difference is I'm not fighting Triple G. So, uh, and that say, you know, they see their favorite TV stars, like they see a Denzel Washington or, or Will Smith or something like that, and they compliment on how handsome they are. You know, you as guys, you like, man, would you date him if we weren't married? Oh, yeah. But you ain't got nothing to worry about because I'm with you. I'm like, well, yeah, that's the key. I'm with you. So, of course, you ain't thinking about going with him. But you already let me know if he comes along, there's a possibility you might let me go if he's interested in you. Yep. Yeah, Rico's laughing. You know, that's the truth, ain't it? That is the truth. Rico, I don't know if you married or not, but you know, I ain't never had that conversation with your wife or girlfriend. You, you just could be dating somebody. Listen, you can be dating somebody start that conversation. Now, you know they line if they dating. If they say, hey, do such and such look handsome on TV? Yeah, but you ain't got nothing to worry about because I'm with you. Now, yeah, all you're basically telling me is if they really, if that celebrity really did come along and wanted to date you, your husband, your boyfriend, they'd be out the door. And I'm not even going to ask the guys if it's the other way around. If your favorite female actress or singer came around, y'all probably be out the door so quick and so fast. Then they get mad when you compliment Rihanna. Is that what happens to you, Rico? You be telling some man, Rihanna, she bad. Look at her. Why are you looking at her? Listen, Rico, can I tell you something? It's natural for a man to look at another female. Now, don't let women twist you up and get it all backwards. Women will look at men also. They just do it on a, a slick, slide type of way. Man, you'll be walking with your, your significant other and you'll just turn around and you'll just look. Now, I got the kind of wife, it don't bother her. We've been married 21 years. So she was like, I ain't worried about you coming right home with me. But some of y'all guys, I've seen some of them getting pure, hellacious arguments. What you looking at her for? What she got that I don't got? I'm like, you don't need to be asking your man that. Because you just open up a whole new can of worms by doing that. 
But it's true, the 80 20 rule. You got the 80% at home, but the 20% you see is that 20% you but you got the majority of everything you need at the house. Anyway, that's getting off set. But uh, crazy if at the presser or this week, if Vana's wife asked G for his autograph. I mean, how how would she approach Vana's? Tell him, hey, I know y'all about to fight, but do you think it'd be a problem if I got Triple G's autograph? Would you be upset? Now I don't know what kind of man Vonis is. Vonis probably just let her do it. That's, you know, it's pretty bad when that's your favorite fighter. And if your favorite fighter knocks out your husband. That's the key. If Triple G was to knock out Vonis, would Triple G still be her favorite fighter? That's something to think about. Anyway, that's enough for right now. I just thought that was funny. I want to throw that out there. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think. Until next time, this is Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports. We're signing out.